Welcome to this next episode of YouTube. We've entitled it Shedding and Howling. And with shedding, we are brushing the wolves, trying to get some of that undercoat off to help them cool themselves. Again, wolves don't have sweat glands over their body like humans do, so they can't sweat to cool themselves. They can merely pant, and so it helps to get that undercoat off of them. We also took some weights this week and wanted to share those with you. Bolts uh, weighed in at 102 and a half pounds, and for comparison, Denali was 108 when he was a yearling, and Aiden was 106. So even though Bolts looks kind of skinny in these videos and um, doesn't compare much to these big guys, he's right in there as a yearling uh, with the uh, with a good weight for them. Luna kind of surprised us. She was 79.5 pounds. That's the exact same weight that Maya was as a yearling. So she's, um, again, looking skinny because she's amongst a couple of big boys there. But she's, uh, you know, on track for uh, a yearling female um, for the weight. Aiden uh, and Denali both weighed in at about 130 pounds. Aiden was 129.6 and Denali was 130. So, again, you see... Uh, a, a period of time from yearling um, through adulthood where they'll be going to add uh, a bit more weight to themselves. And so we're pretty happy with that. And we are, again, seeing some good social dynamics with the group. And that's always one of our concerns is how is everybody getting along? Are they moving like a pack? Are they acting like a pack? And they certainly are. Um, here in this footage, Aiden seems to be um, drawing them up towards the top of the enclosure. We've had a few wild wolves around lately that have been kind of... Um, creating a little bit of uh, interest at the top of the enclosure. And here is one of the reasons why we need to get this uh, um, these uh, wolves groomed. Again, a lot of this extra coat or extra hair um, is uncomfortable to them. A lot of scratching. You know, there's a lot of dirt that's carried in that undercoat through the winter, so it makes them feel better to get that undercoat out of there. Uh, plus, sand fly bites are coming in, so um, things that we need to do as far as grooming. So I'm going to leave you with some clips here of audio from the exhibit pack, trying to get these guys to howl uh, a little bit uh, of a minimal response. Uh, Shadow Malik started, and um, the camera angles are a little bit rough because Bulls does kind of jump at the camera during some of it. So I'll let you listen to this. And of course, the yearlings sometimes would rather play with each other than they would uh, howl with the pack. So that's just young uh, attention spans, not very long, not very committed to some of the importance of communication. So that's not a bad thing, just what yearlings do. So you'll see boots, bolts here on top of the den. Luna's actually getting a little bit of, uh, we put a little bit of ground beef uh, and uh, bone dust up on the rock there for her to have a little bit of extra food. And we do... Uh, continue to feed this pack uh, once a week as far as the large carcass feedings but Luna and Bolts um, every you know every couple of days we're making sure that they have a, a good supply of food and it uh, depends upon the temperature and their attitude as far as how much they want to consume. We obviously want to be concerned that we don't overfeed because Denali and Aiden don't need to gain more weight so it's a little bit selective uh, just specifically for Luna and Bolts. So that's it from the exhibit pack. Again, everybody's doing good. We're going to try to get that hair out of there. They're going to look real skinny uh, once we get the hair out of there, but it'll ma make them feel quite a bit better. Over in uh, Grizzer's enclosure, as you recall, we took out the den. Um, he took out the den. We just um, helped move it out of the enclosure. Uh, put a bench in there um, to, for facilitating some of the grooming. Uh, for staff to sit while they're grooming him, and um, he chose to mark it there. His pond is filled and cleaned and uh, a good source of opportunity for him to cool himself. But he, like I said, like with all the other wolves, um, is in a shedding process. He sheds a little bit differently than the other wolves. Um, the, his 
coat comes out in fairly big patches, and you can see uh, shoulder patches out. His neck is the last to, th to uh, shed in, so we'll see these kind of big main necks on him. Versus Luna, who started shedding at her neck first, so every wolf is different in how they shed. But he finds plenty of cool spots to be able to lay and rest and avoid some of the heat. Uh, he continues on to howl as well to Shadow Malik, so I'll let you listen to him. And for all that howling stimulated by Shadow Malik, I actually did not get any images of them howling this week. Uh, most of the time when they howled is when I left the enclosure, uh, as when uh, when I was in the other exhibit or the uh, Grizzlies enclosure did he howl. So. so I'll show you what I mean by sheets of hair. This is Malik here, and I'm just plucking out the undercoat, and it's just coming out in a big, massive, massive amount of hair. The sooner we get that off, the cooler these wolves will be. And so this is a standard practice for us. The wolves uh, are fairly tolerant of it. Um, we do brush as well. It just so happens that this was such a large amount of hair that it was just easy to kind of come right out. In the wild, you know, and as they're going through the brush, uh, the undercoat may be pulled out by low-hanging branches and things like that, or they just kind of falls out in a sheet. And here, like I said, our job in captivity is to make the wolves as comfortable as possible, and so uh, it's a daily recurrence for us to pull that hair out. And that's Malik. Uh, he uh, has a narrower face, and he weighed in at 91.5 pounds, and Shadow weighed in at 89.5 pounds. And that's a fairly good weight for those two uh, at their peak, they were no more than 95. It's just the comparison between Aiden and Denali, who are such large wolves, um, makes it appear that these guys are so much smaller. But they're doing good. They're maintaining a good weight. And actually, I forgot to mention, Grizzer's weight was 116. So everybody's pretty happy, uh, pretty healthy. We're having a, uh, a late spring cool weather. That means less bugs, uh, but they're coming. Uh, we know Minnesota and Minnesota bugs are going to be here relatively soon. So that's it for this week's YouTube. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.